Hello and welcome to the show. Today, I'm hoping to be blown up by the army considerably less as I have got, well, a very, very fast car. This is the Gumpet Apollo and I am hoping, my plan is, that sheer outright speed is going to be, well, the ticket to try and outmaneuver the tanks. It's still going to be very difficult. It's still going to be very difficult indeed. The tanks are vicious buggers, but maybe, just maybe, with the brutal speed of this Gumper Apollo, we might be able... Oh, there's a police car right beside us. That's not a great start. Never mind. We, uh, we might be able to get away. Now, I have, rather than editing the handling files, I could go and through it at the handling files. I've just kind of cheated and used a power multiplier to uh, give the car a uh, suitable crazy amount of speed, as you would expect oh, from a gun put. Having said that, we've crashed it into a wall. Come on, go! <laughs> How did that tank not kill us? I think that was that is one of the great mysteries of GTA 5, although we're going to die now, I think. Oh, no, we're still going! And we're still going! If we now die for a stupid reason, having survived all of that, I will not be best pleased. In fact, we're, we're, we're still going and we're out of the wanted radius. <laughs> I'm not going to stay stationary around here, though. I have no doubt the army will come searching, and they are very, very limited. Always oh, out. God damn it. I should have stayed stationary. <laughs> we got away with all of the amazing tumble and roll and almost Austin powers it in front of a tank, but then round a corner, and ah, oh, typical. Bloody typical indeed. Well, it's not a great start. Well, our first attempt did not exactly go according to plan. However, there was a slight bit of positive in all of that. We did at least get out of the wanted radius. Briefly as it may have been, we did get out of the wanted radius, which gives me some confidence in terms of uh, possibly being able to get away from the army with this Apollo. At least gets the first stage of what we need to do, which is out of the wanted radius, and then we'll see what we can do after that. Uh, of course, oh, spinning the car is not going to help matters. I think we actually managed to get our wanted radius once more, but there's nowhere to lose the army down here, so we've got to kind of push on regardless. Uh, hope we can use some acceleration. There we go. Quick, 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 quick. Ahead of the bus, ahead of the bus. There we go. Fly through the air. There's a taxi spazzing out in the distance. Oh, there's a tank. Tank missed. Quickly run. Quickly run. There's a truck having issues. We have used blinding speed to our advantage. And that is where <laughs> speed of the Apollo does come in. We have gone for a little bit of a spin. It's fine, though. Nothing terrible has happened in all of that. I don't actually want to be over here. Oh, car's driven straight into a train. Well done. Keep an eye out for a tank. Storm drain. That might be a place to go. Uh, oh, God. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Now fire the car forward with all that acceleration. All the acceleration you can muster, car, is needed right now to go soaring into the storm drains. Now, we have used this place before. I know the bit we want to park on. I know the bit we want to get to, because it's quite difficult for the army to find me. I don't know what the cooldown timer is like for the army here. I will be honest in this mod. However... This might be one of the best spots, and we were away from the army for quite a long time. The plus side, by the looks of it, to this version of the army giving chase to me is they don't sort of spawn in on you as quickly as the previous one. Downside, of course, being bloody tanks. However, the plus side is they weren't spawning in as quick on me, which means I could use the car's speed, could really get a very, very long way away from that area, and it might be enough. If it isn't enough, we're going to be in trouble, because I'm running out of plans. Because that's about perfect for jumping in the storm drain and hiding from everything. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure there's much more I can. I can do. Maybe there are a couple of places we can use blinding speed and then hide off road. Possibly, uh, the, the airport around Sandy Shores might work if you can survive the tanks because it's wide open. And if tanks spawn in on the airfield. You are probably going to die. Oh, crap, they found me. God damn it. That's not good. That's really not good. I thought that might be it, but no, the army has still come and uh, found me. I don't actually want to go this way, because that's going to lead me to a dead end. I'm in a lot of trouble, in fact. Come on, Gumpert. We can go for a little bit of a swim. That's it. It was just a little bit of a cool down. That's what it was. Yes, we'll go with that as an, as an excuse. Damn it. We've got, again, we've got out of the wanted radius. I haven't seen any tanks come down here. 
Uh, I don't know if this is a good hiding spot or not. It's not my preferred one around the storm giant. I can see an army barracks heading up over there. That's not a pleasant sight. As long as I guess it's not a tank over there, then we're okay. Um, I don't know if this. Is, I don't actually know if this this particular bridge support is better or worse in terms of hiding. I think I have a little bit more in terms of escape options. We can go forward and right. I think there was a way out, unless the army block it up with their cars, in which case we panic and flail. I'm quite good at panicking and flailing with a 200 mile an hour supercar. It is uh, something that uh, comes quite naturally. I shouldn't say there doesn't seem to be army guys because someone's going to pop their head around the corner when we've got about three seconds to go. This cooldown time is pretty damn long. Admittedly, you would expect if the army is sending tanks after you for them to search pretty vigorously for the car that has been, I say running amok, we've literally hidden in a storm drain for two minutes so far of this car chase. Not the most spectacular of, it's not going to be on police camera, well, maybe it might be on police camera action because they've got tanks shooting at me in the middle of a city. So it probably would be, but not for, not necessarily for my driving. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that one. We've done it! Haha, <laughs> I would be more excited, but my voice, I don't think, quite, can quite get uh, much more <laughs> excited without dying. We've got away from the army! Haha, <laughs> we shall have some celebratory donuts on the... Uh, <laughs> we, we shall leave the Gumpet's mark on the storm drive. <laughs> but he worked. Blinding speed is still enough. Blinding speed is still enough to uh, get away from the army. It is difficult. It is still very difficult indeed. Oh, they shot up my rear sort of... Uh, actually, was the window on the gun, but or was it just mesh? I don't know. Um, yeah, we still we got away from the army. We dodged a couple of tanks. Uh, tanks will still... I don't know. It sounded like there's some gunshots going on. Um, tanks will still cause all sorts of issues for a car this fast. However... Right moment, right place, you can still get away from the army. Well, shall we see... I'm not sure we can climb Chiliad. Shall we see if we can actually survive the drive from the airport all the way to Chiliad? Well, I am happy. It has been proved I can still get away from this uh, vastly more difficult army. However, can we drive all the way through the city, perhaps the more dangerous bit is the motorway, to get to the bottom of Mount Chiliad? We'll try climbing it if we get there. I'm not sure we're going to have a huge amount of luck. This car has got more than enough power, etc. to do it. However, it is rear-wheel drive, which means we've not quite got the traction, perhaps to bound up the mountain as quickly as we would need to to avoid the tanks. Things like the, oh, was it the off-road racing buggy that we took up the mountain. That would probably be the ideal vehicle in terms of tackling tackling Chiliad with the army in tow. Oh, that's not quite gone to plan either. We kind of bounced it all. I think the wing might have got caught slightly. The Apollo is proving to be plenty strong enough, which is always helpful. Tank! Tank! Fly, Apollo! Ah! That's a lot of explosions that I didn't really want to be hearing, and my voice almost gave up in all the excitement of that one as well. Flea Gumpet! Oh, you're broken. <laughs> I might have broken it. It's still okay, though. We can still do plenty of miles an hour as we're going to try and now get away. Uh, oh, bugger. That's not good. I mean, I didn't really have a choice. I had to go at full pelt. I didn't want to go full pelt up that jump. However, if we hadn't, there was a very, very big risk of a tank shooting us. Come on, Gumput, you've got one buckled wheel. Uh, vehicles have escaped with a buckled wheel. That's another explosion. That's a tank. That's another tank. That's all sorts of chaos run. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, we've not, um, I'm not quite as narrow as I think I am. <laughs> That's a small issue. With all of this, we're going to die, and that, that was my stupid. That was completely and utterly my stupid. We dodged about four tanks, though, until I ran out of driving skill and luck, I think, <laughs> in all of that. Okay, I, I still think it's doable, I just need to not die immediately. Well, that previous attempt did not exactly go all according to plan, however, we did dodge a lot of tanks, and I'm loving the speed that we have on tap in the Apollo. It gives me confidence that it might, just might be possible to at least survive it uh, out of the city. Bus, where are you going? Where are you going? Check for cars. Nothing quite there yet. Dodge that one. Oi, on some more brakes. You will see me going this exact same route. This is the quickest way, safest way to get out of the airport. Oh, I did not want to quite go that fast. However, 
Doesn't matter. We have made it. We have soared through the air with uh, relative ease. Not the greatest of ease, but relative ease. Now, where we do want to go is down... Actually, we might even go down here. This could work. This could work. Get down the train line. Use speed. We've got no cars getting in the way. Uh, because we need to get out of the city as quickly as possible. The motorway, though, does scare me. Or motorway really scares me because... Uh, is that a tank or is that a barracks up ahead? Not sure. Not gonna, not gonna risk it. Although we don't want to really go on narrow roads. Narrow roads and a tank spawning in front of you is going to be the death of, well, me. Very, very quickly. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, that was closer than I would have possibly liked. I thought that would be me dead. <laughs> run! Run! AI cars freaking out ahead of me. It's not good. There's a tank there, but it is stationary, so we can flee in this direction. In fact, this is good for us, because I know where I am now. And this is basically a, whoop, a shot onto the motorway. Come on, Apollo. Use that 200 mile an hour. That's a, that's a road blocking tank. Not something to give me problems right at this moment in time. Here we go. <laughs> we are on the road north. That's a tank there, though, that's going to cause mayhem. We have dodged a Granger that was doing a U-turn on the motorway with a supercar approaching very quickly behind him. Oh, come on, Apollo. Use all of this ridiculous speed. I don't think I've traveled down here as quickly as, well, since when I was trying to break the sound barrier with a car. Oh, this is infinitely more scary. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. Get out of the way. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Don't have time. Don't have time. Ruin is freaking out and doing a U-turn again on the motorway. What is it with you AI cars and doing stupid things? Oh, bugger. Oh, can't get through there. That's not good. That's buckled a wheel. Damn it. Damn it. I really thought I could fit, or at least try and squeeze through that gap. I probably would have <coughs> Bugger. <coughs> I think the roadblock tank ahead of me guy got in it before I... Yeah. Bugger. I have an idea, though. I, have, I do have an idea. You see, we've made it out of the city without too much trouble. What I'm thinking... I'm thinking if we go off-road... So if we jump off-road as soon as we can and kind of go past the little ranch bit and then down past the prison, tanks aren't going to be spawning in there, not going to be making roadblocks when I'm off-road. Gumput, please be good off-road, is the hope here. Well, the plan is... Simple. I have to get through the city without exploding, get onto the motorway, and then get off the motorway as quickly as possible, and then hope the gunpuck can still go nice and quick on the dirt. That That is all. Admittedly, I did just try this, and the game crashed as I got to the motorway leaving the city, which is always fun, when things have been going so spiffingly well, but, um... Yeah, it's doable, I think. I think with... I mean, we, we, we got halfway out of the city, I think with a little bit of, um... A little bit of luck in terms of where the tanks spawn in, a little bit of good driving from me, not driving into the back of a taxi, for example, is always a good start. And just, yeah, generally being able to stay out of trouble would be helpful if we can manage it, but that is not easy. That is not easy at all. We have, again, got out of the wanted radius quickly, and we can use this early leeway to... Oh, that's a tank. If he manages to shoot me in the air, I will not be happy. I'll be impressed, but I won't be happy. <laughs> quickly find some grip find some speed you crazy crazy german supercar with me oh bugger we're going this way now uh i don't waste my time trying to turn around there this isn't really where i want to be however uh i don't know if we can keep going up here actually it'll work it'll work i'm just worried about coming out of one of these roads and there being a tank there all of a sudden has actually worked in terms of confusing the army which is always a plus point uh, when a strategy like that ends up uh, turning out good. Don't complain at it. Go with it. Run. Oh, I thought there was a tank there. It's not. Just from a distance, I saw a camouflage thing. Oh, there is a tank there. Oh, bugger. Speed. <laughs> yep. Yep. Speed. Just continue to speed. That's a lot of explosions going on behind me. Uh, I've kind of slightly missed my turning, but it's fine. I'm just going for outright, outright savage speed at this moment in time. Brakes, 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 brakes. Because we don't need to make this turn. Continue to use the savage speed again now. <laughs> when things are going well and you've just got the world exploding behind you, this mod is incredible, but that is only for a tiny fraction of the time. Normally it's you exploding over and over again. Come on, Apollo. This is where we there's a tank there. There's a car being dropped on my face. Something's exploded ahead of us. Oh, I've got stuck in the floor again. This is the issue I think I foresee with all of this is that um, things explode a lot. My kid's a kitten, get off the desk, you stupid... Ah, oh, bloody hell. Can't chase him off the desk now because I've got too much to worry about. We've got a car and we've got tanks and things that are going to explode 
any moment now. Continue to use speed. This is where we want to be. Oh, Christ. Get some control. Control, 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 control. Um, Michael is a little bit exposed. The wheel is buckled. However, most importantly of all, we have got uh, to somewhere that's kind of safe from tanks for now. I'm not so I'm not so worried about getting away from the army. This challenge was literally just to get to Chiliad. That's all we have to do is to get to the bottom of Chiliad. If we happen to get away from the army inadvertently while doing it, it'll make get to the bottom of Chiliad a damn sight easier. However, I am on a sneaking suspicion that uh, we're not going to be able to get away from the army this easily. All oh, the bushes are playing keep away with car control. It's never good. Never good. Never what you want. Um. The issue now is we're going to have to cross this road, and this road will be spawning in army cars. And I don't really want to be crossing roads, because there might end up being a tank on them, or something equally um, unhelpful. I'm amazed we've made it this far without army vehicles kind of spawning in on me. Oh, we're going to go for another spin, are we? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Come on. Come on, car. We can do this. Oh, actually, round by the rally cross. Kitten, you're in front of the screen. Cass, get out. Come on. Silly. I'm sorry, this is not a normal distraction. He's normally a good boy and doesn't climb on the desk. He knows he shouldn't be up there. Don't you? Hey, come on, get off the desk. Crap, there's army cars there. Um, right, I'm sorry, I got distracted. It's not fair. Um, oh, we got away from the army. <laughs> we did it! Kitten was the lucky charm. That does not mean you can get on the desk again, though. Okay? Um, Kitten... <laughs> Kitten power has gotten me away from the army a stupid amount of speed from the gun, but it is now broken. However, it was it was nobly sacrificed, I think is the way that we are going to put this. It was nobly sacrificed to get away from the uh, from the army. I mean, that's just far too tempting, isn't it? Um, yeah, the gun but was uh, nobly sacrificed, and I mean, it's not great, the control, I'll be honest. However, it's still, it's still drivable. I mean, that does actually make this one of, I think, th three vehicles? Actually, no, it might only be two vehicles that have ever got away from the army with a bent wheel. And that is the uh, the, the racing buggy, the Dakar buggy thing. I can't remember what its proper name was. Did the Formula... No, the Formula 1 car never had a bent wheel. I don't... Th no, the Formula 1 car wheels were stupidly, stupidly strong. I think. I might be wrong. Maybe the Ferrari... I've, I've run two Formula 1 cars, a Red Bull and an older Ferrari. The Ferrari might have got away with a bent wheel. I can't... I, you guys will have to let me know what else has done it. I know the uh, the racing buggy has. I don't know if anything else has got away from the army. This has got away from the extreme, absurdly, stupidly powerful army with a buckled wheel. <sighs> we have almost made it to the bottom of Mount Chiliad, admittedly, and the rest of the way has been... <laughs> If, if, we, if we die now because of a stupid AI doing that, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah, admittedly, this latter half has been a little bit cheaty, in that we lost the army through some dumb blind luck and a slight kitten distraction. Um, well, it can be done. You can get away from this vastly enhanced army, but it is stupidly, stupidly difficult. Ah, you just need an absurdly, absurdly fast supercar and a fair bit of luck, and be prepared to sacrifice said supercar. Doesn't look in the greatest of shapes. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.